Well, greetings all and welcome to the midweek update for the first week of December and the second week of Advent. I come to you today from the sanctuary, which has been beautifully adorned for the Advent and Christmas season, and those decorations extend out into the Galleria and into the lobby as well. A lot of opportunities for some family Christmas pictures while you're in the building, so find a good setting for you and capture uh, those memories uh, of this Christmas season. <clears throat> I come to you today with a list of uh, things that are coming up, happenings here in the life of the church as we press on in this Advent and Christmas season together. First in line is worship this coming Sunday. At the 9 o'clock service, we'll continue in our series entitled Songs of the Season with a look at the shepherds and their account from Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 14, with a focus on the song, O Come, All Ye Faithful. Then at the 10.30 celebration, we will feature the children and their dramatic presentation of the Nativity story. And if you feel like you have to choose between the two services, you don't. Just make a morning of it and come to both and enjoy the donut fellowship time that will happen in between. And then that evening, this Sunday evening, the 10th of December, bring your friends and neighbors to our Carols and Cocoa on the Square at 6.30 p.m. It promises to be 55 degrees and sunny somewhere, but probably not here in Medina. But come anyway and enjoy some of the best hot chocolate around with mini marshmallows. Next, a word of celebration and a big thank you to those who were able to participate in the November food drive. With your help, we were able to reach our 3,000 item goal, and for that, we're grateful. As always, remember to stop by the connections table whenever you're in the building. There you will find information about the poinsettia orders, as well as the upcoming Keeping Connected luncheon on Tuesday, December 19th. Sign-ups, RSVPs, are due by Sunday the 17th. In closing, <clears throat> excuse me, in closing, I'll remind you of the challenge of reading one chapter of Luke um, each day. If you didn't start last week, it's okay. Pick up today with either chapter 6 uh, or go ahead and start with chapter 1 and you'll still be done by the end of December. Either way, you will have read an entire account of Jesus' life and you'll have a deeper understanding of who and why we celebrate this Christmas season. Well, that's all I've got for you today, friends. Blessings on your week, blessings on your day, and uh, blessings on your preparation for Christ's coming birth and his coming return. God bless you. We'll see you Sunday.